Okay, I decided to make one of these little uh, simple curry effect motors where you change the magnetic properties of the uh, metal by heating it and it becomes more or less magnetic depending on the temperature of the uh, material and uh, I went on YouTube and looked at a lot of different videos on these little curry motors and uh, the curry effect uh, I think is very interesting to study and what I've got here is a um, magnetic bead used in jewelry and I don't know if it's ceramic or what the material is but it, it does have that effect that when you heat it up it loses its magnetism and uh, um, gravity pulls it away from the uh, magnets and there's a pretty good video of a guy that made like a motor with a whole string of these around a circle and the motor rotated using this curry effect and I got to thinking um, it's changes in a magnetic field that I've, I've really been studying for a long time and this is one of these little pulse motors and it's the same thing you're changing the uh, power of the field uh, in, involved in the rotor to make the rotor go around. I'm just wondering if I could make a, a motor using this curry effect and like I say there's a bunch of videos on YouTube of these curry motors and uh, I may try to make a, a curry motor using the ceramic um, magnets and then heating the ceramic magnets in a certain spot on the rotor and that changes the uh, power of the field in relationship to a permanent magnet and uh, perhaps I can get uh, a, um, a motor to work using this curry effect. Anyway, that's just something I wanted to show. This was a very simplistic curry motor. Um, they call it a motor. It's, it's um, a pendulum, really. And you know what? I worked for hours to get this to actually work. I tried different things, but this little ceramic uh, bead magnet uh, does seem to work. Uh, this is a very poor uh, design I have here, but it does show the effect. So anyway, um, I wanted to share that with people that uh, perhaps we can make some pretty interesting um, motors like that using heat. I think it's a terribly inefficient way to move something, but uh, maybe that could be looked into. Anyway, that's the latest, uh, my little Curry, uh, Curry uh, thermomagnetic motor. I guess Tesla came up with the idea a long time ago. Thanks for watching.